I was um, always kind of interested in the ministry, somehow along the way. But, uh, and when you're a child, they tell you it's okay. You know, they, they say, isn't it nice he wants to become a minister? Isn't that nice? But when you grow up and you say, I want to become a minister, it's a different ballgame. Different, you know, different kinds of questions emerge. How are you going to be a pastor if you can't see? How are you going to give communion? How are you going to read the lessons? How are you going to drive the car? And I can do everything else but drive the car. It's something I can't do. I can do my visitation. I can do my counseling. Uh, I can do my, my bulletins. But he who does what is true comes to the light that it may be clearly seen that his deeds have been wrought in God. The Gospel of the Lord. When Pastor Steele first came, it was like everybody was a little bit afraid of him at first. The only difference being, of course, that he could not see. Um, as a result of his being here, he's taught us how to respond to him as simply a person. Uh, I'm not a handicapped person. Um, I'm not a person who can't see. I'm not a person who can't drive. I'm a person. This one uh, is made at the nursing home, Blue Ridge Hollow Nursing Home, which he volunteers uh, each week. Uh, this one was at a concert at our high school. I get kicks out of attention. I love attention. And life gives you attention if you take it, if you take advantage of it. The person who sits home, or who, is, who, who just says, I'm not going to do it because, for example, I'm not going to do this because I'm blind, I can't do it, or because I'm deaf, I can't, or because I can't walk. The person who sits home doesn't get any attention. You don't tell them about your draft notice. My draft notice, yes. yes. I'm, the only, I'm, the, I'm the only blind man in the world who ever got a draft notice. <laughs> <laughs> they, had, they had me classified. They had me classified one why I could be called up in case of national emergency. <laughs> Dwayne allows you to uh, to be human about his about uh, his being blind, and to uh, he has a sense of humor that uh, allows you to, to to laugh, so to speak, and, and to laugh it off, and, and to get used to him as a person. The braille dots are over here, but I have to write over here. So what I, in effect, have to do is to write backwards. Most handicapped people like to be independent, but usually don't mind being asked, can I help you? Uh, but uh, we should not be offended if, if that response is, no, I think I'm doing fine. Well, uh, when he takes a regular playing card, like this one or uh, any regular deck, and puts it in his thriller, in his thrill, we play bridge regularly with some friends of ours. And uh, they always tease him about his marked cards, but of course they're, <laughs> they're impossible to read while you're dealing. <laughs> I can't think of Dwayne as uh, sightless or blind or whatever the favorite term is. It, uh, I forget that. And I think, I think we all do. You know, after we've been <laughs> one time, we were at a Christmas party once at their house, and Dwayne sat down at the piano and the lights were dim. I think E.W. and Effie Sue were there that evening. Betty was having to be standing by the piano, and just as a reflex, she, she leaned over and cut the piano light on so Dwayne could read the music. <laughs> you know, Janet, Dwayne's wife, said, uh, Betty, Dwayne doesn't really need that. And Betty said, oh, I forgot. You know, was, uh, yeah, that's, that's just the way it is. You know. It's like the other people have said here, we forget that he can't see. That's just not an issue with us at all anymore. It, it just doesn't enter into our thinking. You know, he's, he's just our pastor. That's, that's it. And this one was a walk a -thon, and he walked uh, to raise money. Um, uh, this one was done for Shenandoah Rester, where he uh, plays the piano Friday nights. Um, we have thoroughly enjoyed Pastor Steele, and he has a talent that is unbelievable. But we, the people, are the church. And, uh, and, uh, and, and we have our, like any, you know, like any organization, we have our ups and downs, but, 
but life for me happens because I'm always wanting to be where people are. And I'm sure sometimes I get a little overbearing, come on a little strong. I'm sure I do, but, but I'm just me, and the things I do, I do just because I want to do them.